Hello. This video will show you some of the practical reasons uh, why I chose the Mercedes-Benz Marco Polo Horizon. Now, I've decided to make this video because nearly every time when I tell people uh, that we've got a camper van, I'm normally met with a response, oh, have you got a Volkswagen? Uh, and of course, the answer is no. So what follows now uh, is the six reasons why we chose the Horizon. Okay, reason number one a left-hand side entry door. If you've got kids and a dog like me, and you live in the UK, you want to make sure they can get out safely. That left-hand side entry door is really important for that. Another feature of the door, though, is this. Listen how quiet it is. I can't imagine having a door which you have to slam shut on a camper van. Reason number two, loads more floor space. Look at all that. And if you've seen my previous video about how we fitted a kitchen into the Marco Polo, you can see how much that extra 30 centimeters or so makes a big, big, big difference. And trust me, the dog is very appreciative of having that a lot more space there uh, to get his head down at night. Reason number three, linked to that extra space, is just these drawers underneath the seats. Um, so much bigger than anything I saw in any other camper van. Really useful. You can basically store all your food in there quite comfortably for a weekend. Um, you know, we'd be lost actually without them. Reason number four, it's a super comfy bed up here in the roof. And you see just why it's so comfy, because it's not just slats, it's got these kind of weird springy plastic things. But this with the foam mattress is really, really uh, perfect for a good night's sleep. Not quite as wide as what you get in the Volkswagen though. Number five, and this is the real big one. The thing that really sold it to me is the luxury cabin. Look what we've got here. Really is luxurious. Leather interior, that goes throughout. We've got a sat nav and a really nice interface there with a little touch dial thing that you can use. Full climate control, these seats are heated. Those wing mirrors fold in automatically. Uh, an electric handbrake, uh, I think that's quite useful because it just gives you a, a little bit of extra space uh, between the two seats. And a 360 degree parking camera. Bottom line is, if you start costing this out on, on a different camper van, it's going to run into thousands and thousands and thousands of extra money uh, onto the base price. It's all standard on here uh, and it's kind of luxury, uh, which as somebody who's driven nice cars for quite a number of years now, I've really struggled to be coping without this. And bearing in mind, I also use this as a daily driver. It's something that was really important to me. So this was the really big thing. Uh, which motivated me to go for the Marco Polo Horizon. And finally, number six, driving. Uh, now this actually deserves a video of its own, um, but let's just say for the moment, it doesn't feel like driving a van at all. It drives much more like a car, but it doesn't really exactly feel like driving a car either. Uh, but that is in a kind of a good way. Uh, the bottom line is it's really, really very easy to drive. Um, and I've been pleased with it so far. So, those are the six reasons why we chose the Marco Polo over the obvious alternatives. Uh, there's a few things that, that also frustrated me as well about the purchase. Um, things which I include on the Marco Polo which you get standards on others, such as the table, uh, the chairs, uh, the ability to do an electric hookup. And I also had a bit of a wobble when I realised it was rear wheel drive, but I don't think any of this was, is unsurmountable, which is why we, you know, we went ahead and, and did, what we, uh, did what we did. Anyway, I hope you found that video interesting. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you want to find out more about our adventures with Otto, the Marco Polo Horizon camper van.